Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Grady, that's GRD Y, and today is Dollar Bill Day at my dad's arcade. So that means we have to go down, check all the dollar bills. And I got my slave driving right here. Hi, Grady. Anyways, I'm gonna look at the change machines. I'm gonna try to find cool dollar bills. I got $1,000 worth of quarters right here that we desperately need to change out with the change machines. So, andale, andale, peasant. What up, Grady? system once again. My dad's arcade is pretty early as you can tell because the floors are mopped but what I need to do here is restock those change machines and then let's go. I know because I was there. Many quarters were searched in these four boxes with the overall goal to look for silver, dubs, and errors. And just like any good Autobot, those quarters were rolled out. West Point quarters are now going for $25. That's a lot of energon you could buy for a quarter. Okay, in the first $1,000 worth of quarters, here's what we found. 23 drummer boys, and as you know, drummer boys, we have to set up to the side. And we found two West Point quarters. They're both the Weir Family Farms. But because I already have so many of these, we're gonna send the nice one off to Steve. Who is Steve? Steve is the guy who taught us about the dub quarters. We never knew they existed before 2021. Steve still doesn't have one. So I'm gonna give this to my dad, my dad's gonna give it to Steve, Steve's gonna go in the bar, Steve's gonna get a dub. Thanks, Steve. We also found an S Mint quarter. See, it's an S. The S stands for San Francisco Mint. I also found four different proof quarters. You know it's a proof when you can see not only it's an S, but they'll have a mirror finish on the edges, and it'll have a frosted image. Probably my favorite coin I've found, and I'm a Drummer Boy expert because I have so many of them, is this Drummer Boy S Mint. The proof Drummer Boy. And it is so beautiful and in great shape. This is the first one I've ever found. And let's be honest, I've found hundreds of Drummer Boys. Box number three and four, the next $1,000 of quarters we went through, we found all of these items. First off the get-go, we have 26 Drummer Boys. We found four of the Ghost Comet Error Coins. I have four more BU graded quarters that are gonna replace the ones in my book. These things are beautiful, immaculate, and are exceptional quality. I got a few treasure coins, including this one, which looks like Washington got shot in the head, so I'm keeping these ones. This one's cool, I found my third and godly rust coin. As you can see, it has a very faint T, which should actually show in godly rust. That's why it looks cool when it has a bunch of rust on it. We also have four more brilliant, uncirculated quarters, and I'm just gonna keep these because of how cool they are. They're absolutely perfect. So on these change machines, they have these dollar bill acceptors, and at the end of the night, they all pull it out like this. That's where it all goes. We also gotta make sure to get all these dollar bill acceptors from games like Pac-Man. They probably cash from a bunch of stuff from over the weekend. Also these crane machines, they're hot spots. They have so much money in them all the time. We also got Buck Hunter and Terminator. Usually my dad would do this in the back office so it's not in broad daylight, a bunch of cash. But for the purposes of this video and lighting and stuff like that, we're gonna do this in the front because the back used to be an old bathroom. And the lighting sucks. Okay, so this is everything from Friday and Saturday from the change machine. Okay, just laying on my dad. Let's see what we're going through. This is what we have to go through. We're gonna check through this, we're gonna speed up the footage, and we're gonna show you what we got after we're done. Hey, that's my song. 
We've organized the different denominations so we can go through it as fast as we can. Ones, twenties, tens, and fives. We found a few star notes along the way and we're gonna look through these at the end. So these are all the star notes and I already looked them all up. They're not worth anything. If you want to find them, just go on the starnotlookup.com. Even if this one was a good number, it would still be junk because it has all this graffiti and it's very worn down. Now here's two cool ones I am gonna keep. Number one, we have my birthday. That's right, I was born on St. Paddy's Day. Now this one is actually a little bit rarer because it has a partner that has the same exact serial number, the same exact year. In 2013, down at the print, they made a mistake, so they made this guy, and so now there's two exact ones. This is one of them. If we can find a matching one, it's worth a lot of money. So keep these and check them. They're always 2013. This is a $10 bill. It's a triple double. Unfortunately, it's not gonna have a lot of value, so it's just gonna go back in the pile. This one, Michael Jackson, is almost forwards and backwards, but if that one were a five, that would be worth a lot of money. Unfortunately with Michael Jackson, not too much in a radar note, we're gonna put it back. In our culture, sevens are considered lucky, in Asian cultures, eights are considered lucky, but in this one, we have four sevens, which isn't gonna be considered that much, but this one has five sevens, so that might be considered like maybe two cents over. You have to have at least six matching serial numbers to actually change the value. These are trinaries, as you can see, they have one, three, nines, and sixes. But other than that, they're not really going to have those much value. If the six were to be a zero on this and the two were to be a one on this, that would be very valuable because it was almost a complete true binary. Six, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, two. That's so close. Unfortunately, not computer code, off it goes. Any serial numbers that are below 2,000 are considered drummer boys to my dad since they're placeholders in the stacks. So here moves these out anyways. But in 1995, this is possibly a web note. To find out if it's a web note, flip it over. If that little number is over the E, that is considered worth a lot of money. Especially if it's a cool serial number. But it ain't, so it's going in my pocket. 074, 074. It's a cool repeater, not cool enough. 7935, 7985, if that eight were a three, that would have been a lot of money, we would have kept it, but nope. Now I found a lot of broken ladders. Check out these serial numbers right here. They all came out of a stack and all of the numbers in the serial number are different. Just because they're different does not make it uncommon. What makes it cool is this one right here. Zero, one, five, three, two, four, six, seven. All of these eight numbers are different and that makes it a true broken ladder. That makes it valuable. Now this is a birthday note. This is April 30th, 1827. What happened on that date? So we looked it up and this is a apparently guy of the name of John Thompson. Otherwise known as Snowshoe Thompson. Apparently he's the main pioneer of skiing in the Sierra Nevadas. Cool. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit some games before we're out of here. 